in special shoes, LeBron's TR. Type will double Leeds Cavs past Wiz. Washington, App, LeBron James played the first half wearing a pair of shoes, one black, one white, reading equality in gold capital letters and finished with 20 points, 15 assists and 12 rebounds to lead the Cleveland Cavaliers past the Washington Wizards 106-99 on Sunday night for their 18th victory in 19 games. James had his fourth triple-double in the past five games despite being called for four fouls in the final quarter. Kevin Love added 25 points and 9 rebounds for the Cavs. Bradley Bill led Washington with 27 points, and John Wall had 15 points, 10 rebounds and 6 assists in 32 minutes in his third game back after missing 9 with an injured left knee. In a matchup of Eastern Conference division leaders, neither team led by more than 7 until Wall turned the ball over, leading to a fast break for James who was fouled at the other end and completed the three-point play for a 103-94 lead. The last time these teams played, at Washington on November 3, Cleveland won thanks to 57 points from James. That prompted Wizards coach Scott Brooks to joke before tip-off Sunday both that holding the four-time league MVP to 56 would be pretty good tonight and I have a lot of respect for coach, Tyron, Lou but I think he's making a bad decision if he doesn't sit LeBron tonight. Back-to-back -back games, right? Our fans saw 57. They don't need to see any more. James did not carry that much of a scoring load this time, but he did a bit of everything. He also made his statement with his sneakers, wearing that pair for the first half, before switching gear at halftime. He sported a pair of black shoes with equality written on them for Cleveland's opening game of the season. If it seems as if James climbs up some career list each and every night, well, that's because he pretty much does. This time, he overtook Hakeem Olajuwon for ninth most made field goals in NBA history and tied Nick Van Exel for 24th most three-pointers. James made only 4 of 12 shots in the first half for 9 points but it was his three with 1.1 seconds remaining that made it 60 all at the break. Wall's three shortly before that moved him up to number five on Washington's franchise scoring list. He began the night at number seven, but surpassed Phil Chenier and Gus Johnson in the second quarter. The game was still tied heading into the fourth period, at 83 all. Tip high in his Cavaliers, Gidwayne Wade was rested on the second half of a back-to-back. -back finished with 24 assists, ending their streak of three consecutive games with at least 30. Cleveland made 14 three-pointers, its 20th game in a row with at least 10. The Cavs scored at least 100 points for the 24th straight game. Wizards, F. Addo Porter Jr. sat out with an injured right hip. His replacement in the starting lineup, Kelly Uber Jr., had 11 points and 8 rebounds. Technical difficulties There were three technical fouls handed out in the first 10 minutes, one apiece to Cleveland G.J.R. Smith, Washington F. Markeith Morris and Brooks. Brooks and Big Z. Brooks was by turns earnest, nostalgic and funny while recalling former Cavs teammate Zidrunas Legaskis, who will receive a Lifetime Achievement Award during the Greater Cleveland Sports Awards show next month. He took me in. I stayed with him for two months. A lot of interesting nights, Brooks said with a chuckle. What a great sense of humor. I don't know why in the world did the state of Ohio give him a driver's license. I mean, it was an adventure going to dinner every night. Just a horrible driver, but a great teammate. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Up next, Cavaliers, at Milwaukee on Tuesday night. The Cavs have beaten the Bucks the last five times they've played. Wizards host New Orleans on Tuesday night. Underscore follow Howard Fendrich on Twitter at http colon slash slash twitter dot com slash Howard Fendrich underscore more app NBA coverage, https colon slash slash up news dot com slash tag slash NBA basketball.